Welcome back to Astro Bowden breaking his camera. Um, small recap. Uh, I was um, going to do a modification to my Nikon DSLR, trying to remove the uh, infrared cutoff filter for astrophotography. Uh, got the instructions from my Pixel website. Uh, they have instructions for Nikon and Canon, uh, different models each. Instructions are nice and uh, uh, clear. They're good pictures. Uh, little comments, um, yeah, I think pretty much anyone could follow these. Um, so that's what I did. I opened everything up, got to the sensor, removed the infrared filter, and uh, connected everything back up again. Once I got to the point where I put the battery in, okay, <clears throat> so. Moment of truth. Battery in. Power on. And freeze. Yeah, I know something's wrong here. Really wrong. There is a battery level indicator in the top left corner, even before I turn the camera on. So we have a, a heart failure, out of body experience within a millisecond here. And trying to figure out what could be wrong, but yeah, let's carry on and see how I tackle this little issue. Battery's dead. Isn't that a bloody end of Remax? Oh well, so I'll just have to charge the battery, <coughs> get it back in. Try again, and hopefully, it's not because I bricked it. Yeah. Uh, I saw a low level battery indicator in the top left corner, even when I hadn't turned on the camera yet. And nothing changed when I turned the camera on. Uh, reseating the battery didn't change anything. Uh, it was too late in the evening to do any troubleshooting. I knew something was wrong. I never seen that So basically I just turned in uh, with the battery charging overnight day after um, Still same issue battery wasn't the problem So second time I opened everything up again uh, Checked all the connectors all the way down to the sensor I uh, didn't unsolder it. We just checked the soldering um, Everything looked fine, didn't see anything wrong, but I connected everything back up again, and this time it actually worked. Almost. When I did any, anything that required an exposure uh, or a sense of readout, <coughs> uh, rather, if I turned to live view or if I um, did, a, uh, did an exposure trying to take a picture, uh, I just had an error on the screen. Uh, going to live view just made the screen flash up and then uh, the shutter shut the camera down So it felt like there was a sensor issue So third time's the charm, right? I opened everything up worked my way down towards the sensor and When I got to the point where the <clears throat> flat cable from the sensor connects to the main PCB I noticed that even though it was well seated, uh, the clamp on the connector that holds the uh, cable in wasn't actually clamped down properly. Maybe I just didn't do it properly or forgot it entirely. Anyway, just clamping that down, closing everything up again, and that works. So, um, learning. Uh, uh, experience from this then is that uh, well just make sure that you follow the instructions take care about the connectors the connectors are a bit funny they have like two different types uh, one of them have that little lever to unclamp or clamp down the connector in the front of the connector and one of them in the back and nothing's mentioned of that in the instructions so you have to have to learn which one it is <clears throat> and I almost broke one connector by trying to peel up the wrong end so be careful with that. Uh, just 
make sure everything is clamped down when you close it up again yeah so <clears throat> but besides that it wasn't the instruction wasn't the fault um, just anyone should be able to do this I think um, wear a wristband anti-static wristband if you do sap your electronics you won't be able to tell and you will have issues that you can't um, see or troubleshoot your way around so it'll just be a brick and you can't you won't be able to solve this um, yeah so um, good luck if you want to have a go at yours so ta-da yeah.